Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. You know what? Somebody actually said that they don't like the intro. Fuck you. I don't give a damn. I've been doing this intro for like 10 years, man. So if you don't like it, it is what it is. Fast forward, pass it. That ain't even what we're here to talk about today, though. Um, This is what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the archetypes, the attributes, and pretty much everything that is 2K, man. Look, first off, the prelude has been pushed back. A lot of people are upset about that, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, people shouldn't have put out the videos about when you can get the, you know, when you can do it and when you can get it early. Everybody knew what the plug was. Everybody knew that you could get it early, but hey, they, they put it out there. And uh, running 2K and all those guys, they was like, yo, we can't have people putting out videos. Like, some people probably were going to start streaming the prelude at like 7.30. So they was like, yo, we're going to stop all of that. Globally, 12.01 Eastern Standard Time. And if you got the Giga Fiber like me, you can download that joint in no time. I'm pretty sure some people already found a way around that, but it is what it is. So that's just is what it is. Globally, Eastern Standard Time, 12.01 a.m., Tonight, which is gonna be uh 9 8 2017. So we got that out of the way. Check it out. Now the actual release date will be one week from now. If you pre-order the game, obviously you get it next Friday. This is gonna be the place to be to get all the you know all the info. I'm giving you all the info because I want you guys to get better at the game. I'm not trying to be better than everybody else or just like I I'll show you all the other stuff now. Like I'm not one of the biggest people in the community, but everybody knows I'm a good player. And nobody minds playing with me, so it is what it is. Because I'm just one of those guys that do my job, and that's what it is. I ain't got to be flashy, dashy, all that stuff, man. I just do enough to get the job done, just like Swante do. He don't do all the dribbling. He just go by your dunk on your ass. Like, that's that's really it. So it is what it is, man. I hadn't heard anything about any early copies of 2K, any of that stuff, but you know it is what it is. But I'm going to have y'all jump shots, attributes, all that good stuff will be on this channel straight up. Anyway, what I wanted to show you guys is this same spreadsheet that a lot of people have already showed you, shown you, whatever you want to say. Link to it is down in the description. A lot of people disagree with me, but the way that I like to play this game, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make a player that I feel like is just going to be an OP-ass player. I told y'all that in the last video. I'm going to make a player that I enjoy playing with. I'm, I'm going to make a player on PlayStation. I'm going to make a player on Xbox, so I download the Prelude for both. Um, but I'm going to start out on PlayStation. On PlayStation, I'm going to make a shooter that defends. So I'm going to be either Clay Thompson or I'm going to be like a 6'9 uh, type player. I don't know if I'm going to be 6'8 or 6'9, but I'm most likely going to be 6'9 uh, to be a small forward because I know that at 6'9, I can defend the people and do all that good stuff. But uh, if you don't know what you want to choose, this sheet will give you the ratings and, and pretty much tell you. Now, we don't know how accurate it is, obviously, because some people... Um, it's just an estimation. Nobody has the real info. But I can tell you this. I do believe that it's very accurate in a few places. I'm going to tell you why. Ball handling and defending, y'all already know that that's where I'm going. All right? We got ball handling. Like I said, it doesn't account for arm length. It doesn't account for height. It doesn't account for any of that stuff. I'm going to make a 6'4 ball handling defender on Xbox. So hopefully this will, this will hold pretty true. Where it's gonna say like like look at this layups. This is about what we said. We, we thought layups were gonna be about seventy. Uh, you know, lay, max layups gonna be about seventy-seven. Dunks was gonna be about sixty. These are the things that we said. Max dunk is gonna be about sixty-eight. Y'all know y'all know how I am with the fives. I don't believe you need to go over five. This year it might matter a little bit more. But the main thing I'm worried about is this mid-range seventy-five. Uh, it's gonna be sixty-six at first, and I'm gonna explain to you why this is important in a minute. Sixty-six. Uh, and 75, and then you got 70 and 75. Everything else is academic ball handling. You can push that up from the break. And uh, pretty much everything. You, you can see this. But what I want you guys to know is this. When you're going through this list, this is what you're going to start out with when you get your character to 80, 85, or whatever. Like if you buy the VC and then go to the park, the one on the left is where you're going to start out. You will not gain the other attributes until you start maxing your player out beyond 85. If you saw Gento's video, you saw how he was able to add, add, add everything up. So you can max out everything to get your guy to 85. Now the first attribute that you gain beyond 85 are the ones that go toward this. So let's say like ball handling defending. My guy will start out with a three point shot 
as we said, of about 70, right? So I have a 73 point shot. I don't even care. If it gets up to 75, that's great because I can put a boost on it and it can go up to 80. So that's going to be plenty. My mid range, I can put a boost on that. That can go up to 80. That'll be plenty for me because I shot, and I'll show y'all that in a second. I shot with a 70, uh, 73 point shot and a 70 mid range all year when I made my playmaker. And uh, I'll show you the percentage that I shot. I'll show y'all that right now. Let me show you real quick that you don't need a high a high shot in order to do it. And I shot with the T. Mizzle. Uh, you know, T. Mizzle gave me the jump shot. I shot with Aldridge and T. Mizzle shot. And uh, this is 70. And I don't even think I got a boost on right here. You can still, you can still green these with, uh, you can still green, you can still hit from, from deep or whatever with, with a 70 uh, jump shot. Now, I know a lot of people were saying that, well, you know, they were saying if you have a, a 60 overall jump shot or whatever, you're going to hit 25% of the time. I think they're just saying that that's where you have absolutely no business um, shooting a three. You got no business shooting a three if you're low 60s. Now, 70 is where I feel like you will you'll be able to control it. 75, I think you'll really be able to control it. And what I'm saying is I really don't believe that they would give you I, re I really don't believe that they were. Look at some of these other archetypes. We're going to get off of this right here. Oh, yeah, let me show y'all real quick what I shot all year. Like y'all care, right? Um, and this playing with randoms, too. Y'all know I don't have no set team to play with. Uh, what's this? Now, in Pro-Am, I shot 60% 60, 60 from the field, 50% from three. In the park, I shot 66% from the field, almost 60% from three. So... The proof is in the pudding. Like this is this is something that I've actually done and gone with all year. I am telling you, you can be if you know your jump shots, you can be successful with a seventy with a seventy three point shot. Now a lot of people might not like that, but you're telling me that you're gonna give me a three point shooting and defending. I mean a three point shooting. I'm sorry, a ball handling and defending a point guard, and I'm gonna be able to get him to an eighty uh, overall three if I want to. You don't want to see that, man, because eighty. I've seen, I mean, I used to shoot with 85. In 2K16, I shot with 85, and I was hitting all year. Uh, in this game, I shot with 85 half of the year, even with my sharpshooter. You don't need anything more than 85. 85, if you're missing out the 85, if you just need that extra 90, then it's cool. If you look back at my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But check it out. The reason that I was saying, why is the spreadsheet going down? Come on, spreadsheet. Get with your boy. The reason that I was saying what I was saying is this. You've got these other guys that have the secondary archetype as three-point shooting. I don't believe that 2K is going to give you a 70. Like, your secondary archetype is, is three-point shooting. I don't believe that they're going to give you a 70 overall three, and you can't control it. What I'm saying, you can control it. What I'm saying is that it's up to you whether you're going to make it or not. Some people were saying, like, it's going to be 60 for that. Um... I mean, like 20 20% for for 60s, 70% uh, for, I mean, not 70%, 20% for 60s, 30% for 70s. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe you know what you're talking about. I think people are just talking. A lot of people just do this right here, and that's fine because we all speculate, but I just can't believe that 2K is going to make a secondary archetype of three-point shooting, and it's a 75, and you're only going to hit 30% of your threes. This ain't real life, man. I think that they just nerfed anything under 60 to make you not even try to take it, which you shouldn't have been taking it in the first place. We just found out a way to make it work. But it is what it is. But like I said, I think the 70 is going to be enough to be able to hit threes. It was this year. Certainly 75 will be enough. And with the boost, 80 definitely is going to be enough. Because 80 is all some people are going to get. But um, like I said, man, looking at this, the main thing that you want to look at is if you create your archetype, and like I said, which is going to be the broken archetype that a lot of people are going to have, which is going to be the shot creating three point shooter. Now, if your shot creating three point shooter is not a demigod on day one, don't be discouraged because you have to get to 85 first. You might have to buy your way to 85, but after you do that, you're going to have to get your way to this 84 layup. You're going to have to get your way to this uh, 75 dunk. You're going to have to get your way to the, uh, well, you start out with the 92 mid-range, but you're going to have to get to the 85-3. And you're certainly going to have to work to get to the 84 ball handling so that you can boost it, so that you can boost it and then get a speed boost. So if you can get that to 81, 
then obviously you can boost and you can, you'll be able to speed boost. But don't be discouraged. Don't be like, man, these YouTubers gave us these garbage bills on all this and that. Because this year, your player will get better over time. Last year, it was, it was pretty much buying the 85, 86, whatever it was last year. And then that guy was going to be good enough. This year, it's not going to be like that. You are going to be dramatically better as you push toward 99. Now, the question is this. If you buy your way to 85, are we only getting 15 more attribute points? Or are we getting uh, are we getting like a couple of attribute points, you know, for the next level? That's something that I don't know. So we got to figure that out. And that's something to be mindful of, too. Because if you, let's say if you make this shot creating guy, you, you may have to, you may have to put all your points in ball handling just to get it up to something that's going to be that's going to be able to get you the speed boosted. That's almost 10 points that you may have to put in there. If you have to put in like 10 points, you don't have anything else to put really anything else. You're not going to be able to get your layup up. You're not going to be able to get your, your dunking up. You're not going to be able to raise your three-pointer. So this is something that we don't know. We have to wait for the game to drop. And it all starts tonight with the prelude, man. So like I said, I'm just telling you things that nobody else is trying to tell y'all. Make sure y'all go back and watch that video yesterday, man, about the servers and all of that. And uh, like I said, this spreadsheet is something that everybody had. But I just like bringing you the same information in a way that other people haven't brought it to you. And like I said, man, don't be afraid of that 70 overall three and the 70 mid-range. I was hitting consistently. I'm hitting consistently with this. And if you know how to play the game, you know we're gonna uh you know we'll figure it out. You know we'll use the jump shot creator to uh, get you get jump shots. And uh, you know, make sure you get your hot spots too. Hot spots, he said hot spots not gonna break or break you this year, but at the same time, they will um you know, they will they will help you. So it's not gonna make or break your player, but it will help. But some players play it all year without hot spots wondering why they couldn't shoot. But it is what it is, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm not just showing y'all this stuff. I'm I'm actually um I'm actually trying to just tell you everything that I know about the game because there are a lot of secrets in the game that a lot of people don't know because they just they just don't play the game. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Give me one more of them things. Green, I ain't no green, me. Big white. I'm out of here. Peace.